What's up, guys? That really ghost guy here, and we are back playing Warframe. So, Deathstream 81 is over, and we have talked about, in the last three videos, we have talked about the three skins, as well as the Ash rework that's planning on coming out. Alright, so... Alright, so with that said, and Lotus done talking, I, if you guys want to find out how I feel about the Ash Prime video, check that out, or Ash in general, the rework video, check that out. If you care about the deluxe skins, check out the videos on uh, the Ash rework, also is going to include the deluxe skin, and then I did a video with back-to-back -back Chrome, Chroma and Frost. So you'll be able to see the skins in that video. Uh, otherwise, if you've seen the dev stream, you've seen them. Or if uh, you check the overview, there's like an overview that they do after the dev stream and it shows you what they talked about. You can check it out there as well. So I want to talk about the leftover things beyond those couple points and those points being uh, we already talked about the War Within being delayed and it is what it is I mean it, it is, I don't know I don't know uh, like like I've said in the in the one video they're trying so hard to get it out and you can just it, it's it's obvious it's obvious you can you can see that the the development team is stressed out and they want it out just as much if not more than we want it out now, there's a little bit I want to mention when it comes to uh, hype. I've heard that DE has hyped this uh, War Within. They've hyped it up so much, and it's their fault. Now, just, just real quick, something I want to touch on is... what? How much do we know about the War Within? The only thing we know is that it's been delayed a lot. <laughs> so if if that's what you mean by they've hyped it up, then yeah, you're right. But we know almost nothing. All we know is that Teshin is involved, the Queens are involved, and the Tenno, the actual flesh and blood Tenno, is involved. We don't know anything. We don't know if the Stalker's going to make an appearance. We don't know if any of the syndicates are doing a thing we don't know if like we don't know anything so if people saying it's overhyped as if as if we know everything that's supposed to be here we just don't have it we really don't nobody knows nobody knows other than de what what to what's going on and even de has reworked it a couple times so they <laughs> they it took them a while to figure it out so I just wanna, I just wanna, just touch on the fact that everyone's saying DE overhyped the game, and it's their fault that that everyone's upset and everyone is is disappointed. Um, come on, guys! Like No Man's Sky just came out, and and that was overhyped. That's something that was overhyped. That's something that was promised and under delivered. First of all, you don't know. You have no idea what the what the War Within is going to be like. And honestly, with all the effort and whatnot they put into it, I think it's going to be fantastic. Um, but you know, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't do that. You're going to disappoint yourself if you if you just if you if you pull a No Man's Sky. I'm sorry. Uh, and I don't think DE is doing that. DE is keeping their lips sealed because they're smart. And they're doing their best to make sure it's everything we could possibly want. And if it's and if it isn't, they'll do something about it. They'll fix it. That's DE. So, with that said, I just I don't know. I I don't DE DE probably doesn't even know I exist. So it's not like they're they. I'm you know I'm 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 trying to I don't know impress them or whatever. It's just saying, guys. Come on. Um, where is this dude? Why wasn't I supposed to? I don't know. Okay. Um, so, with that said, 
Um, no scope. No scope. No scope. Oh. Um, yeah, it's it's whatever. It's whatever, guys. Uh, they did not overhype it. I think we overhyped it. But it just goes to show. It just goes to show. People are saying saying that Warframe is is dying. Um, if 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 they screwed up, if War Within is garbage, then yeah, Warframe Warframe might tank. Maybe not a hundred percent, but it might tank quite a bit. But the fact that people are so angry and so upset and have so much feelings about uh, about what is going on, obviously people are, that means people are hooked, and that means when it comes out, people are going to f do a complete 180 and play it. That's just that's just how it is. Unless unless DE decides it's going to be another two years before it comes out, then it's going to die. But either if they fail or they wait another eternity before it comes out, yes, then uh, then GG Warframe, uh, you may not last. But like I said, people are people are. Why is these? Why 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 is there someone all the way back here now? Why? Why? Who the hell? Go fuck yourself. Sorry, but I had to say that. This is making a 78 exterminate take so long. Um, you too. You too. Go get no scope. Anyways, uh, with all that tangent out of the way, dev stream, what's left over. So they're talking about dedicated servers. I'm not, I, it doesn't really, doesn't really tickle my fancy. Uh, I don't really mind all that much. I may run a dedicated server. Uh, they said something about karma points or something or other, or you know, being rewarded for for something like that. And um, I might do it just to be nice because I do have a relatively powerful laptop on the side that could run one, um, you know, relatively decently. It's my editing computer, but it used to be my main gaming computer, so it's pretty powerful. Um, and it can, it can handle it. And I have great, great internet. And I think that plays a factor, but I have pretty great internet. So, I don't know. That's, that's a possibility. Uh, the other thing is, let's see, let's see. There is the Index, which is coming out, which is going to be similar to Rathum, but it's going to be Corpus-based. Intriguing, but is not, like, I'm not super stoked about it. Um, to me... I don't know if it's coming out before the War Within, or it's coming. I don't think it's coming out during. Maybe, maybe somewhat after. But if it's coming out before the War Within, it's really for me just going to be filler uh, to enjoy something before the War Within comes out. But I don't think it's going to be the next big thing. Um, I would love to run some of those missions, some of those difficult missions, with some of you guys. So that would be cool. Uh, maybe when uh, when the Index comes out, we can do some of that. You know, together as a as a community, that would be kind of cool. Um, but let me know what you guys think about that. Um, dedicated servers, like I said, not too big of a fan. Lunaro, I might run a Lunaro one or something. Uh, I could enjoy Lunaro. Um, one thing I am intrigued about, which is a little bit a little bit confusing, is is create your own missions. They were talking about create your own missions, and this is going on. Oh, this uh, should I get into another game? Uh, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Um, create your own missions. Now, it sounds very, very, very interesting because I'm the kind of person where I don't really want to have to go long term or seek out the stalker. I mean, obviously, I probably can't just drop in a bunch of stalkers and just fight them. But there's a lot of bosses or enemies that I want to farm. A new alert has begun. Rhino Vanguard helmet. Uh, maybe, maybe. What does that involve? Uh, I, I, there's a lot of things I want to farm, but I don't want to go through the, the headache of maybe farming them. Let's get into a public just to make this go faster. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of intrigued with that. If it does allow mod drops and affinity, that would be great. But it also leaves a very open window for the system to be abused. Um, anyone could make a super high uh, volume, like, like, 
uh, like survival or or you know what Drake they someone can make Draco Draco all over again uh, someone can make a much more advanced Draco where you're just flooded with enemies and efficiency is pouring pouring like a like a freaking I don't know like a bottomless cup just like a faucet just get just get a uh, affinity like crazy and that's something that DE wanted to avoid so I could understand them either minimizing loot or changing drop rates or something for those missions or making it so you can't accumulate affinity that's all possible that's all possible so I am I am a little bit I, I don't want to say I'm excited for it because with with the fact that it could be easily abused, I'm expecting it to not be what everyone hopes it's going to be. So that's at the very back of my mind at the moment. So I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't really tickle my fancy because, like I said, I'm not expecting it to be anything spectacular. Um, I guess one of the last things we could really talk about is the Tenogen stuff. And probably the only thing I'm considering in the Tenogen is the Ciandana. Um But like I've said many times, is the prices of all of that stuff is not something I really am looking to invest in anytime soon. So that's that. There's no too big of a reason to get caught up in the, t the talk about all of that. Um, because... I don't plan on buying too many if I plan on buying any at all. Um, the ones that I am excited for, I've kind of pointed out already. The Mirage Technodrome one, the Ash one, which I pointed out just in a, a video or two ago, two videos ago. Uh, that was uh, that was pretty cool. I don't, I, maybe I'll get that. I don't know. This, the, a lot of the Sandanas I like, so I might get a couple of the Sandanas just to complete some of my themes if I feel like they work. Um, but other than that, um, until until the you know what, until the channel becomes uh, until the state that the channel is pretty stable and I can see picking up maybe one every once in a while. I've considered investing in some of them, um, but I've talked about this in a video just previously about um, about basically thanking you guys for sticking around and and being here and commenting and and whatnot and kind of kind of elaborating on uh, on how I want the the channel to proceed and the channel is 100% to me is just a way to fund itself. Um, is um, while while I've got bills that you know that 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 get paid, I, I don't have I don't have much bills whatsoever at this point in my life, and I uh, if 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 my hobby of playing games can fund itself, if 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 me doing this and and playing with you guys and making videos can allow me to buy more games or make more content to then create videos with which just returns whatever I spent on the thing in the first place is it would be more than enough would be more than enough that allows me to basically do what I love without having to worry about an expense and that's yeah that's 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 all I all I ever would really wish to accomplish if it ever became more than that um, You'd, you'd probably see a lot of. Uh, I already do quite a, quite a bit, but you. But that's just that's just because I'm so happy doing what I'm doing. But you'd see a lot of interaction and whatnot in uh, with you guys and whatnot. When I can afford to do giveaways, I'll do giveaways. Um, I've I've done. I've mentioned in the video I've given away over five thousand platinum worth of stuff on my channel already. And if if I can afford to 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 get more platinum and give you guys more stuff, then I will. You know, 
um, it, it, it's going to allow me to create more content and um, and the more things grow, the more the channel grows, the more I can do, um, which means the more that I can, I can also return the favor. So, uh, yeah, so I guess uh, that's the really quick way to put it, um, <laughs> rather than the way I put it in that one video. But anyways, uh, that is basically the gist of Deathstream 81 and what happened there. There are tiny little things they touched on, such as the decoration in the Lisette. You can decorate your Lisette a lot easier. Not to mention the resources have come out, so now you can put the resources in your craft and and blah blah blah. Um, that doesn't that doesn't do a whole lot for me. I got uh, I got a bunch of noggles just from like every time one went on sale or there was like a bundle, I picked up a couple of them. Um, so I have a few of those, but decorating the Lisette is not really something. I care too much about it's not something you guys see and it's and it's not where I spend the bulk of my time when I'm playing the game so I haven't really done anything with it so um, but uh, we pretty much finished up here we will evacuate and that'll pretty much be it I'm glad you guys stopped by I'm hope you learned something I hope you enjoyed uh, Warframe and, and 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 the little spiel, my little my little chat about what's going on and uh, and um, I'm not like I hope I hope nothing I've said has really been like offensive to any degree. Um, I don't I don't think I don't think it really could be. I don't know, but uh, I just wanted to kind of point out what I think is going on and what I what I think is going on and what I know is going on. Whoa, that guy just, like, took off. That was cool. Um, but, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and until next time... Blah! Okay, good. 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 I know. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't want no Juggy in this episode. Okay. So, like I said, he is my elemental-based one. And I kind of went about doing that pretty early on in the game. I just thought it would be a cool design.